My name is Heinz Ludwig. I, I am a hematologist, oncologist, working in Vienna, Austria. I have a keen interest in myeloma for quite some time. And I'm here uh, in Boston at the end of the International Myeloma Workshop. And I must say this workshop was fantastic. Yeah, this uh, workshop was really uh, the best uh, we ever had also. It's, uh, and it was very comprehensive uh, with new information, new data. So what was exciting in my opinion, of course, one uh, important message which we haven't thought about before is the impact of the microbiome on, uh, on tumor growth and on myeloma. And Leif Berksegel showed very interesting uh, data, mice data, uh, where he showed that uh, in the same mice strain, which uh, develops myeloma, uh, you can uh, have different uh, uh, progression rates depending on the composition of the microbiome. In other words, bacteria in your gut have an impact on the progression or uh, st stabilization of the disease. And he showed that very nicely uh, with my strain, with the same my strain which uh, was spread in um, in, uh, in the US and the other mice strain was spread in Italy with different uh, 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 feeding or circumstances and looking at the microbiome they found differences in the bacterial content and then they did uh, phases transplantation in order to see whether that is really causative, whether this really causes a difference and actually the data are very convincing. This is one of the uh, new, I think, findings. Of course, there was a wealth of information on the impact of uh, the genome and uh, uh, the epigenome and the microenvironment. And we are starting to learn more about the um, Im impact of the immune environment, of the stroma. I think in the future, we will not only target the tumor cell, but we will focus our treatment also on the microenvironment. And this uh, will become more and more important and will help to enhance not only response rate, but cure rates. So that is, I think, the way uh, research will, is going to. I must say, uh, there were clinical data, of course, new clinical data, the data from the Griffin study have been presented with uh, about 200 uh, patients uh, treated uh, uh, with uh, taratumumab uh, RVD with very excellent uh, results. Uh, so uh, this is uh, of course very rewarding and other new data have been presented. What was, ex uh, what was very interesting and uh, which uh, was taken up by the audience, uh, I think which great uh, enthusiasm was the debates on hot, so on hot issues in myeloma. So shall you transplant, shall, shall you maintain transplant or not? Shall you use uh, fixed duration and so on? So this was uh, very well received by the uh, attendees. And uh, 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 when, uh, and that was the last day of this meeting and uh, uh, so, when you ask the question, what, where will be the next meeting, the answer is the next International Myeloma Workshop will take place in two years from now, um, from September 8 to September 12, 2021, in Vienna, Austria. And I have the privilege uh, to uh, serve as local host together with my colleagues, Hermann Einzele, Hartmut Goldschmidt, and Roman Haig, and we four try our utmost to uh, produce a very interesting program uh, and a very friendly atmosphere. And I hope everyone who is listening now to this video will uh, uh, consider to come to Vienna. I think we will do our utmost to make it worthwhile for you. You will receive it. You will have the opportunity to listen to new information and we will also have the opportunity uh, to strengthen your friend, friendships with your myeloma enthusiasts, with your friends, and to establish new ones, maybe, uh, and to establish new corporations. 
uh, in the best interest of myeloma research and finally of all our patients. So what is the, uh, one of the special features of this meeting? This is only devoted to multiple myeloma, of course uh, to uh, associated diseases like uh, amyloidosis or uh, monoclonal gammopathy of clinical significance. So we spent three and a half days uh, in um, um, listening to presentations on the molecular mechanisms, on the clinical uh, uh, features and on new and novel treatment options for those patients. So of course, if you devote all your time to a specific issue, you get them more and it's, uh, I think there's no other opportunity to learn more in such a short period about multiple myeloma. Thank you.